Now, the FCT Police Command has sent Shwaibu um, Alaji Yushao to the Social Development uh, Secretariat for mental uh, assessment and evaluation following his rather troubling action of attempting to commit suicide in a protest against subsidy removal and insecurity by climbing a high broadband mast at Aso Radio <coughs> in Katampe, Abuja, which caused his apprehension on Monday, July 8, 2024. According to the spokesperson of the command, SP Josephine Ade, the suspect, if, if found to be mentally stable after the test, will be charged to court for attempted suicide, disturbance of public peace, and incitement contrary to sections 231, 111, and 114 of the Penal Code Act. She mentioned that the Commissioner of Police, FCT, CP Beneth C. Igwe, has urged residents to be law abiding while pushing for their voices to be heard, as the police will not be stampeded into allowing the breakdown of law and order. And, you know, we talked about this in the undeveloping stories yesterday, mm. how this man protested uh, by climbing a mast. And uh, another one happened in Abuja where a sole yeah. protester, uh, well, uh, the, the, I think we even saw a picture mm. of, in the video, Anka yeah. Noku, the Nigerian actor joining that particular protest in Abuja, uh, carrying the Nigerian flag. I think it's called Flag Boy mm. on uh, social media, carrying the Nigerian flag yeah. protesting. And that's a video of him in police custody. You know, he was arrested. Uh, after he, he protested, hunger, same hunger that many Nigerians are crying out um, about, but fact remains that he was arrested after protesting. And right now, the police is saying they have arrested these, for this man who climbed the, uh, yeah. Shwaibu, who climbed the mast in uh -huh. uh, Abuja and, you know, taking him into custody. He found uh, that he's sane. He will be prosecuted <laughs> and he's actually liable to have one year of oh, prison for, for, sentence first and foremost the man where anyone who would go as high as that's mast cannot be seen it takes a lot of unstable but it takes a lot of courage also that i'm saying the courage you know sometimes you, are, you have to be abnormal in order to do some courageous things you know <laughs> you and i know that you would not or i would not take that risk and climb that kind of mask no matter what you know you may be going through all you will do is you just pray to god and and just wait the situation now but for someone to do that you know the person has reached the lowest of the low you know and um as as has seen it up to the level that that such person you know has given off or given up on you know on life and all of that talking about the other man too that jumped into the ocean is it the ocean river did the just on the weekend as well you know you, people like that you cannot say they are stable no matter how you want to look at it even if scientifically um they are they are they are proven to be stable but mentally you know and otherwise spiritually you can't say they are stable and like i said it takes a lot of um instability of the mind to actually do that then this particular um, um development talking about um if found guilty is going to be uh, uh, penalized you know for that cause of concern of um, our law that criminalizes suicide you know i don't know if that is right or i don't think that is right i know suicide is not um is not um the right way to go you know in situations but i would want to think that um, a society that really cares for a citizen and one of such wants to take their life not because of maybe um, personal challenges or, or such things but because of the economic hardship which we all know that everybody is facing or everyone is facing or a majority of nigerians are actually facing and is telling in every strata of society if such cases are found i don't know why we want to also criminalize that and punish the person my first question is okay yes if found guilty and is taken into uh um he has to do time for one year and he comes out what is the hope for such person? And first of all, have we solved the problems? Have we solved uh, the, the challenges problems? that the he challenges. mentioned? He was protesting about. He protested exactly. about the removal of fuel subsidy. He protested about the hunger. In, in fact, the insecurity mm -hmm. in the north. Mm -hmm. uh, have we, uh, would we be able to solve all of that? Where's the this hope, man comes Where's out the hope of given prison? to such a person to know that, okay, yes, you are telling him that suicide is not the way to go, it is wrong and all of that. 
what is your basis of this uh, uh, um, admonition or telling him not to do this thing? Because you take him into custody, he does time for one year, he comes out, he's back to the society, no food, no money, it's back to square one. And at this time, maybe we would not look for a better way to, to actually commit the suicide that, you know, it will not, <laughs> it will not um, you know, when we get in his way and all of that stuff. So I think the government should, should, should do better no, than I, I, I am, some certain things. I am very concerned about the clampdown, the threat of clamp down that is uh, you know yeah. put out there about uh, on people that are trying to protest or that are mm -hmm. uh, planning protest the other day we heard about wasn't even carrying maybe a weapon or something that you no. say okay he was going mm. to harm someone else in the way of him protesting and all of that he was just frustrated he was just frustrated and a right thinking you know society that wants the best you know or that's really concerned they're not just paying lip service to the betterment of the citizens would do would do better than just saying that if found guilty you know it would have to do time for nigerian Ni nigeria nigeria's government also you mm. know wants nigerians to live and not uh, you know it's, it's, it's like saying that no one lives even if no matter the situation <laughs> you stay here we are stay here together here. there's no room together. for you after all the, pro the, the president has uh, constantly promised mm. or uh, has constantly admonished nigerians mm -hmm. to go through the pain mm. go through the challenge it's just a short time pay the yeah? price pay the yeah. price yeah nigerians are you ready to pay the price mm. do not leave nobody's going anywhere <laughs> like cleopatra said Good.